Welcome back. Now that the virtual machine has been created, I've already opened a remote desktop session to it. Here's the remote desktop session of our virtual machine in Azure. Now if I go into the command prompt and do an IP config, I can see my IP address 10.220.1.4. Remember the breadcrumbs, right? The other thing I can do now is since I have the site-to-site -site tunnel, I can ping 192.168.220.4, which is my on-premises domain controller. I now have the ability to promote this to a domain controller. And so what I'm going to do is add the directory services, come back, and show you this finally promoted as a domain controller. I'm not going to make you sit through all of it. But all I have to do here is add the domain controller role and then promote it to a domain controller because now we have visibility to that on-premises DC. I'll come back to you when this is done. While we're waiting on the domain services to be installed in the domain controller, one of the things I want to point out we need to do is go in and enter a DNS server now. Now since our only domain controller is currently on-premises, I'm going to put that in as my first DC here. Once I promote this second domain controller that we're in the process of promoting, then I can actually change these IP addresses. But for now, I'll go ahead and put this in here so that this Azure-based domain controller has visibility to the on-premises DC. As the warning showed, anytime we make DNS changes, we need to then reboot our Azure-based VMs in the virtual network. So I'll take care of that and then come back to you during the promotion process. Okay, I'm back and I wanted to show you the Azure-based VM before I promote it to a domain controller. So as you can see, the IP address here, the DNS, so what I did was put the DNS address into the virtual network, then rebooted this VM and it received this IP address. I could have also just statically assigned that DNS server IP address within this VM, but since I was going to have to put it in that virtual network anyway, I went ahead and did that. Now I'll go through and promote this to a domain controller. Again, all of this is old news, so I'll come back once this is done. Okay, we're back from the domain controller promotion and I brought up Active Directory Users and Computers. And as you can see, I have DC1 and DC2 already showing up in the domain. I've also configured the Active Directory Sites and Services. In the blog attached to this video, I'll give you the link to the process of setting up sites and services to make sure that you have your site set up properly. But the goal of this video was to show you how to connect a site-to-site -site connection put a domain controller in Azure and then get it synchronizing with your on-premises, which I've done. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. We'll have more videos again, so please check those out as well. Thank you and have a good day.